My major does not define me. I'll probably be working jobs that don't exist yet. I want a fulfilling career and to make a difference. A rewarding life starts with being true to yourself, then taking action. Our design coaches help identify what empowers you so you can think big, try boldly, and stay curious. A BGSU education is bigger than a degree. It's a toolkit. For a life of purpose. It started with you. A breeze building momentum. A movement gathering force. Even before you could see it, you could feel it. The flutter of hope. The rush of potential. The inexplicable pull toward the edge of opportunity. Falcons take flight. Seven years ago, Bowling Green State University challenged our community to join us in changing lives for the world. Powered by the strength of Falcons who came before us, guided by our indomitable spirit, together we rise. Even as the world took new shape amidst a global pandemic, we fixed our sights on tomorrow's horizon. You gave, and it altered our course. You gave and we are forever changed, united in our vision of the future. More than 38,000 donors answered the call, representing all 50 states and 26 countries. More than 160,000 contributions were given, raising over $250 million. 101.7 million in scholarship and student support funds were committed, creating 235 new scholarship funds to accelerate student success and accessibility. More than $28 million in gift revenue was received in fiscal year 2020 alone. Our highest level of yearly philanthropic support, demonstrating the unparalleled commitment of Falcons in the face of extraordinary upheaval. Stirred by emotion, propelled by purpose, lifted by your empowerment, we are airborne. From historic gifts that changed our campuses to focused contributions ensuring that all Falcons soar. Your impact is profound. We are educating the world's next generation of trailblazers to forge ahead, honoring our historic strength in business education, preparing journalists, media, and communication professionals to seek the truth, skating with an eye toward the future, and building up our frontline healthcare heroes for those with the courage to respond and preserve our public health. This is not the end of a campaign. It's the beginning of our path forward. One renewed with meaning and optimism, unbridled by the conventions of how it's always been done. Because when Falcons take flight, we make a difference forever. Bowling Green State University, a public university for the public good. So my name is Sadia Azmi, and I'm from Mumbai, India, and my major is psychology. BGSU was my choice because I did a lot of research, and I applied to quite a few universities, and I got through them too. But BGSU's program for I.O. is ranked really highly, actually ranked number three in the country. And so it was an easy choice. <laughs> So when I got here, um, you have to understand that I'm coming from Mumbai, which is just kind of called the New York of India. And so it was a big, busy city and coming to Bowling Green was like, whoa, like what century? Something has changed here. Initially, it was a little bit of a surprise shock. But then as I got to meet people, you know, I, I met my advisor here on campus and then I made friends just living in the dorms. Slowly, I knew nobody when I came to campus. But slowly I made so many friends that within a month or two, it just started feeling great being here. I have volunteered at the ISA, that is the Indian Student Association, and also at a few events of Global Connections, which is a campus come outside um, organization where they help out international students. And besides that, I just make it a point to attend every other event that I can, you know, be it the 
the Chinese Student Association or the World Student Association or the African American Student Association. All of that just to get to, you know, meet new people, learn new things. So after I finish this semester at BGSU, I'm, I'm going back to India to get married. And then I'm coming back uh, in January. I have this internship that I have planned for the next semester. Probably I will be continuing with the internship that I'm doing right now. Um, and then I will also be taking my GREs and then applying to schools for my PhD program. I would definitely recommend BGSU to students. My opinions, my views were really, really valued here. And, and especially for international students because you bring a different perspective. I have observed that professors and you know, teachers on, on campus here really value that. So like, you know, in class I would be asked, what is your opinion, like, and in a very nice way, like, not like in an outsider, oh, you know, what do you think, kind of thing. And also, um, it has been just a great learning experience and definitely recommending it. <laughs>
You're okay, you're good.
How long do they have to warm up for a dragon? Um, they get like um, 10, 15 minutes. Okay, and they'll announce when they actually start, right? Okay, cool. I heard, thank you. Thank you.
Thank you. Both Stacy and Hess. Sorry about that way. Yeah.
Such a loser, I know. It's the BGSU D relay in lane three. It's the BGSU B relay. Toledo A relays in four, followed by the BGSU A relay in five. Then Toledo B relay in six. And the BGSU C relay rounds it out in seven. Off to an early lead for senior Daisy Platts for Bowling Green. Bowling Green A relay will get a nice jump here to start the breaststroke leg of this 200 medley. Taylor Harris out front for Bowling Green. And a second place battle across the board between the rest of the four. After Taylor Harris will be on to Erickson. Another one of the seniors for Bowling Green into the water. Good start for Erickson. 
Right now, tight race. BGSU B relay slightly over the Toledo A relay. That could change going into the turn. It does indeed. Toledo's A relay makes it to the wall first from Sidney Conrad. Erickson will come into touch. Elena Crump will round it out for Bowling Green. The freestyle leg looking to close it out and end the first event of the day. First swimming event of the day is a win for Bowling Green. Kennedy Lovell pulling closer for Toledo. But Plants, Harris, Erickson, and Krupp walk away victorious for event number one, the 200 medley relay. 143-19, the time for that Bowling Green A relay. Toledo's A relay was second. Two and a half seconds behind them, and then the BGSU B relay in third. So the next event. Next event, we'll get right into the 1,650-yard freestyle. And we'll take a look at the diving results while we wait on the start of the 1,650. Zoe Smith for Bowling Green in first, a score of 276.07. Rhea Blood from Bowling Green in second, 264.68. Medicine Giglio in Toledo was third with 264.3, so just .38 separating Blood and Giglio at the top of the board there. Sarah Butt in fourth, Grace Ellis in fifth, Elise Snyder in sixth. And after that first event, the diving, Bowling Green had a 15 to four lead over the Rockets. So we'll continue to update you on the standings and where the points are at throughout the day. And we'll get into the second swimming event, 1650 freestyle. Lindsay Creek for Toledo in lane two. Olivia Castro for Bowling Green in three. Giovanna Jurich for Toledo in four. Kelly House in five for Bowling Green. Samantha Eckleberry in six for Toledo. And Gabriella Vitella rounds out the field in lane seven for Bowling Green. This will be the longest race of the day. And Jurich for Toledo, an early lead, slight advantage. But we'll have to watch Jurich. The 1650 is a race that you really have to pace yourself. Coming out even slightly too fast in an event like this could prove costly as you get towards the finish. 66 laps in total. And right now on five, so plenty of distance to go. But we mentioned how pa important pacing is. And when you're swimming at the Division I college level, it's something you become so used to. Now the swimmers, they'll watch their coaches as well as coaches stand along, along the lane 10 end of the pool away from the bulkhead in the middle. But the swimmers will keep an eye on their coaches. Their coaches will tell them whether they need to pick it up or hold the pace that they're at. And video coverage will stay live throughout the duration of the meet. 
But I'll take a step aside. Keep your eyes peeled. And we'll be back toward the closing portion of the 1650. Okay. Just over one third of the way through the 1650. And out front, Jurich still leading the way. A close battle for second right now between Eckleberry of Toledo and House for Bowling Green. Less than a quarter body separating the two as they've mirrored each other here through the first 23 laps. Then it's Olivia Castro, Lindsey Creek, and Gabriella Vitella rounding out the field one third of the way through the race. And there on the bottom left of your screen, you can see Eckleberry and House very close to one another. And now Eckleberry has started to pull out in front just a little bit. Now a body separating the two. But about a 20-yard lead for Jurich at the moment.
think they end at 40. Oh, okay. Thank you. So that would be 20. Two minutes a minute. Two thirds of the way through, Jovanic Jurek still out in front. A lap and a quarter in front of her teammate, Samantha Eckleberry. Kelly House right behind them in third. Then Lindsey Creek, Olivia Castro, and Gabriella Vitella. That is the running order here as we get closer toward the end of the marathon race here in the opening portion of the Battle of I-75.
Well, we've neared the close of the 1,650 yard freestyle. Jurek still out in front for Toledo. It looks like she's gonna lead from start to finish. There you hear the bell as she goes into her last lap. 50 to go for Jurek. And then Kelly House has started to narrow the margin between second and third as she's pulled even closer to Samantha Eckleberry. And here the two go into their last lap. So while Jurek is gonna win, the race is on for second place here between Kelly House and Samantha Eckleberry. Lanes five and six side by side as they go into the last stretch of the race, even at the turn. It looks like House is out in front, but just by fingertips. And indeed it is gonna be Kelly House pulled back from two body lengths behind. Samantha Eckleberry, House will take second. Eckleberry will finish in third. And there you see one, two, and three. Jurek, Eckleberry, and House as the other competitors finish out their race. Far side there, Lindsay Creek. She'll take fourth as she finishes up her race. Levia Castro for Bowling Green in fifth. Jurich's time, 1705.84. And there you see Gabriella Vitella. Completes her mile. So one of the interesting things to watch here for this next event, the 200-yard freestyle, is Kelly House, who just took second in the 1650, is going to get right back in and swim the 200. She'll be in lane seven. Competitors ranging from one to eight here for event number three. There you see Kelly House along with Annabelle Habercorn and the rest of the competitors. Getting ready to go here for the 200 yard freestyle. And just to tell you how close the race between House and Eckleberry was, they finished within under a second of one another. There in that mile, they both finished with times 17.22 points. Two hundred yard freestyle. Here we go. Olivia Castro in one for Bowling Green. Jillian Swift in two for Toledo. Karen Krosky three. Bowling Green. Molly Pressler four. Toledo. Moa C Carlson five for Bowling Green. Ashley Lefevre six for Toledo. Kelly House, who we mentioned just swam that mile, she's in seven for Bowling Green. And Annabelle Habercorn is in eight for Toledo. Strong start for Lefevre of Toledo in lane six. And an even race across the top. Looked like off the turn there, Krosky for Bowling Green had a little bit of an edge. Indeed she did. The top four pretty tight. After 100, it'll be Lefevre. 
Followed by Carlson, followed by Crosley, followed by Pressler. So Lefevre leading the way here in the 200. 125 yards in. And while this isn't the shortest race, this is a sprint. The longest event that can be considered a sprint in swimming is the 200 free. Anything beyond that turns into a distance race. Lefevre out front, 25 yards to go. Carlson right behind her. But Lefevre picks up the event for Toledo. Carlson in second. Presler in third, Krosky in fourth. Fifth place goes to Castro down in one. Kelly House takes sixth after taking second in the mile. Jillian Swift and then Annabelle Habercorn round out the field for Toledo. That'll put us on to the 100-yard backstroke. And with it being senior day at Bowling Green, certainly a swimmer to watch is going to be Daisy Platts in lane five. The next swimmers have entered the water. Bowling Green in the odd lanes, Toledo in the even, Olivia Edge in one, Hannah Beavers in two, Mary Ellen Wolf in three, Madeline Blakely in four, Daisy Platts in five, Morgan Schulden six, and Lily Kaiser in seven. Platts out to an early advantage. A lengthy advantage here for Daisy Platts on senior day. The seniors were honored before the meet began. Platts' time at the turn, 26-93. And a really good underwaters for Platts off the turn. And there you see her one-third of the pool before she's coming up. That streamline underwater is going to be the fastest you're going to go. And Platts takes the 100 backstroke with ease. And Bowling Green will earn themselves the top three spots. Daisy Plants, then Olivia Edge, and then Lily Kaiser. One, two, three for Bowling Green. And then Madeline Blakely, the freshman for Toledo, took fourth. And any time you can pull your swimmers up like the top, like that at the top with one, two, and three, that race becomes very important in the overall scheme of things as we look to points as we go on here throughout the meet. Following the mile, the 1650, Toledo and Bowling Green were tied in the score. Next up, the 100-yard breaststroke. Abigail Dolliver in one. Carolyn Wallenberg in two. Martina Stefanak in three. Lauren Kilgore in four. Taylor Harris in five. Alicia Zarzo Ramirez in six. And Juliana Petrak in seven. Stefanak out front, narrowly over both Kilgore and Harris. Our stroke portion underwater, a little bit different than every other stroke. A pulling motion underwater. 
A more drawn out pull than what you see here in the regular stroke. Stefanak out front. And she is going to win the 100 breaststroke. Stefanak, Harris for Bowling Green go one and two. Kilgore in third. That'll move us on to the 200-yard butterfly. Five competitors spanning from lanes three to seven. And they're away, Fabiana D'Ambrosio in three for Bowling Green. Sydney Conrad in four for Toledo. Ava Vial for Bowling Green in five. Morgan Scholden, six for the Rockets. And Enbar Mark rounds out the field in lane seven for Bowling Green. Long underwaters for Conrad. About halfway before she breaks the plane of the water. She leads the way. Fial right behind. After 100, Conrad's time. 58-39, she leads by two seconds. All three Bowling Green swimmers in this race very even behind her. And a 200 butterfly takes so much out of your body. Of course, when you get to the college level in swimming, most swimmers are specialized in certain areas, certain strokes. But this 200 butterfly, it takes a lot out of you. Following the last race, the 100-yard breaststroke, it was Bowling Green out in front of Toledo, 56 to 37 in the scoring. And Conrad trying to pull out a win for the midnight blue and gold down the stretch. Lost a bit, little bit of steam, but manages to come away with the victory. Holding off D'Ambrosio and Vial. In the final order for that will go Conrad, D'Ambrosio, and Barmark, Vial, and Schold. And now we will have a consolation heat of the 50-yard freestyle. Next up is the 53. This is heat one of two. Anise Constantindis and Amber Saxon, both for Bowling Green. We'll swim here in the first of two heats. Both juniors for the brown and orange. Constantindy's out front, half a body. 
Really good turn for Saxon. And Constantinides will beat her teammate, Amber Saxon. Constantinides, a time of 26 even. Saxon comes in at 27-7. Again, Bowling Green in the odds. Toledo in the evens as it will stay throughout the meet. Jillian Bull in one, Lisa Lohner in two, Anna Erickson in three, Kennedy Lovell in four, McNichols in five, Kendra Poleski in six, Elena Krupp in seven, Caitlin Hines in eight, and Riley Kennedy in nine. And Lovell will take first, 23-5-8. The 50 freestyle, the shortest race you'll see today. Elena Krupp for Bowling Green in second. Just a freshman. And then third place, Anna Erickson. Under three seconds separating the field in the 53. And now the divers will get set to go once again. We saw the three meter diving earlier. Now we'll go to the one meter diving and you'll get to see that right here. But first they will warm up and we'll step aside after diving We'll go on right into the 100 freestyle, the 200-yard backstroke, and the 200-yard breaststroke. My major does not define me. I'll probably be working jobs that don't exist yet. I want a fulfilling career and to make a difference. A rewarding life starts with being true to yourself, then taking action. Our design coaches help identify what empowers you so you can think big, try boldly, and stay curious. A BGSU education is bigger than a degree. It's a toolkit. For a life of purpose.
started with you. A breeze building momentum. A movement gathering force. Even before you could see it, you could feel it. The flutter of hope. The rush of potential. The inexplicable pull toward the edge of opportunity. Falcons take flight. Seven years ago, Bowling Green State University challenged our community to join us in changing lives for the world. Powered by the strength of Falcons who came before us, guided by our indomitable spirit, together we rise. Even as the world took new shape amidst a global pandemic, we fixed our sights on tomorrow's horizon. You gave, and it altered our course. You gave, and we are forever changed, united in our vision of the future. More than 38,000 donors answered the call, representing all 50 states and 26 countries. More than 160,000 contributions were given, raising over $250 million. 101.7 million in scholarship and student support funds were committed, creating 235 new scholarship funds to accelerate student success and accessibility. More than 28 million in gift revenue was received in fiscal year 2020 alone. Our highest level of yearly philanthropic support, demonstrating the unparalleled commitment of Falcons in the face of extraordinary upheaval. Stirred by emotion, propelled by purpose, lifted by your empowerment, we are airborne. From historic gifts that changed our campuses to focused contributions ensuring that all Falcons soar, your impact is profound. We are educating the world's next generation of trailblazers to forge ahead, honoring our historic strength in business education, preparing journalists, media, and communication professionals to seek the truth, skating with an eye toward the future, and building up our frontline healthcare heroes for those with the courage to respond and preserve our public health. This is not the end of a campaign. It's the beginning of our path forward, one renewed with meaning and optimism unbridled by the conventions of how it's always been done. Because when Falcons take flight, we make a difference forever. Bowling Green State University, a public university for the public good. So my name is Sadia Azmi and I'm from Mumbai, India, and my major is psychology. BGSU was my choice because I did a lot of research and I applied to quite a few universities and I got through them too. But BGSU's program for IO is ranked really highly, actually ranked number three in the country. And so it was an easy choice. <laughs> So when I got here, um, you have to understand that I'm coming from Mumbai, which is just kind of called the New York of India. And so it was a big, busy city and coming to Bowling Green was like, whoa, like what century? Something has changed here. Initially, it was a little bit of a surprise shock. But then as I got to meet people, you know, I, I met my advisor here on campus and then I made friends just living in the dorms. Slowly, I knew nobody when I came to campus. But slowly I made so many friends that within a month or two, it just started feeling great being here. I have volunteered at the ISA, that is the Indian Student Association, and also at a few events of Global Connections, which is a campus come outside um, organization where they help out international students. And besides that, I just make it a point to attend every other event that I can, you know, be it the the Chinese Student Association or the World Student Association or the African American Student Association. All of that just to get to, you know, meet new people, learn new things. So after I finish this semester at BGSU, I'm, I'm going back to India to get married. And then I'm coming back uh, in January. I have this internship that I have planned for the next semester. Probably I will be continuing with the internship that I'm doing right now. Um, and then I will also be taking my GREs and then applying to schools 
for my PhD program. I would definitely recommend BGSU to students. My opinions, my views were really, really valued here. And, and especially for international students, because you bring a different perspective. I have observed that professors and you know, teachers on, on campus here really value that. So like, you know, in class I would be asked, what is your opinion, like, and in a very nice way, like, not like in an outsider, oh, you know, what do you think, kind of thing. And also, um, it has been just a great learning experience and definitely recommending it. <laughs>my major does not define me. I'll probably be working jobs that don't exist yet. I want a fulfilling career and to make a difference. A rewarding life starts with being true to yourself, then taking action. Our design coaches help identify what empowers you so you can think big, try boldly, and stay curious. A BGSU education is bigger than a degree. It's a toolkit. For a life of purpose.
and I'm from Mumbai, India, and my major is psychology. BGSU was my choice because I did a lot of research and I applied to quite a few universities and I got through them too. But BGSU's program for IO is ranked really highly, actually ranked number three in the country. And so it was an easy choice. <laughs> So when I got here, um, you have to understand that I'm coming from Mumbai, which is just kind of called the New York of India. And so it was a big, busy city and coming to Bowling Green was like, whoa, like what century? Something has changed here. Initially, it was a little bit of a surprise shock. But then as I got to meet people, you know, I, I met my advisor here on campus and then I made friends just living in the dorms. Slowly, I knew nobody when I came to campus. But slowly I made so many friends that within a month or two, it just started feeling great being here. I have volunteered at the ISA, that is the Indian Student Association, and also at a few events of Global Connections, which is a campus come outside um, organization where they help out international students. And besides that, I just make it a point to attend every other event that I can, you know, be it the the Chinese Student Association or the World Student Association or the African American Student Association. All of that just to get to, you know, meet new people, learn new things. So after I finish this semester at BGSU, I'm, I'm going back to India to get married. And then I'm coming back uh, in January. I have this internship that I have planned for the next semester. Probably I will be continuing with the internship that I'm doing right now. Um, and then I will also be taking my GREs and then applying to schools for my PhD program. I would definitely recommend BGSU to students. My opinions, my views were really, really valued here. And, and especially for international students because you bring a different perspective. I have observed that professors and you know, teachers on, on campus here really value that. So like, you know, in class I would be asked, what is your opinion like? And in a very nice way, not like in an outsider, oh, you know, what do you think kind of thing. And also um, it has been just a great learning experience and definitely recommending it. <laughs>
You are here because you made a decision to be collegiate student athletes. So clap it up for yourselves.
probably only about 10 pounds. Uh, oh, wow. The other ones that we use for like basketball and football and stuff like that are about 40. But those have a shoulder mount too. And my shoulders are stronger than my arms, so I prefer the 40 pound ones. Why are those ones so good? They're literally just bigger cameras and they have um, really heavy batteries. So their batteries alone are like five pounds. Go, go! Is there always a set amount of drivers?
Well, similar to the three-meter diving segment earlier, Zoe Smith for Bowling Green comes away victorious again in the one-meter diving, and now we are ready to go for the 100-yard freestyle. First of two heats. Three Bowling Green competitors in the water here in the first heat. Riley Kennedy in three. Anise Constantindes in five. And Amber Saxon in seven. We will have complete one-meter diving results coming shortly. And now towards the back segment of the meet. Kennedy out front, followed by Constantindes and Saxon. Heat one indeed is going to go to Riley Kennedy. So for the one-meter diving, Zoe Smith first, Madison Giglio second of Toledo, Sarah Butt third for Bowling Green, Rhea Blood four, Kylie Mossett five. And then to round it out, Galace, Snyder, Ellis, Harden, Janajuska, and Haver. And currently through event 14, Bowling Green on top of Toledo, 103 to 66. Here we go, heat two of the 100-yard freestyle. Karen Krosky in one, Kendra Pileski, Pileski in two, Riley McDiggles in three, Kennedy Lovell in four, Juliana Petrak in five, Ashley Lefevre in six, Elena Crump in seven, and Jillian Bowl in nine. Slight edge right now going to Kennedy Lovell of Toledo. Her teammate following her closely behind, Ashley Lefevre. Lovell makes the turn, still holding strong, approaching the 75 mark of this 100 free. Even battle for third amongst the Bowling Green swimmers. Lovell indeed going to make her way to a first place finish. Followed by Ashley Lefevre and then Elena Krupp. The freshman for Bowling Green. Kennedy Lovell, a really strong performance so far today here in the Battle of I-75. Next up, we'll have the 200-yard backstroke. It's the 200 backstroke. Swimmers are waiting their cue to hop in the water. And there it is. So only one heat of the 200 backstroke. It'll be Hannah Beavers in two for Toledo. Lily Kaiser in three for Bowling Green. Madison Blakely is in four. Daisy Platts in five. Morgan Schold in six. And Mary Ellen Wolf in seven. If you recall earlier, Platts ran away with the 100 back. She'll hope to do the same here in the 200. And Daisy Platts does hold the Bowling Green record set last spring at a time of 153.67. 27.31 on the first 50. As she's got a couple of body lengths over the rest of the field. Lily Kaiser in second. Right next to Madeline Blakely. Platt's a comfortable lead after the 100 mark. Six-second lead over Lily Kaiser. 
And .35, all that separates Kaiser and Bleakley right now. That's the difference between second and third place. Other end of the pool, Mary Ellen Wolf making the charge alongside Morgan Schold. So it's going to be a tight battle for both second and third. But Daisy Platts comfortably in first place. As she comes down the last leg of this 200-yard backstroke. 159-41, the time for Platts coming in just under two minutes. And indeed a battle for second. And by .07 of a second, it's going to go to Lily Kaiser of Bowling Green. Morgan Schold in third. Blakely, Wolf, and Beavers round out the field. We talked three-fourths of the way through that race how Morgan Schold was coming on strong almost Got to second place, but just narrowly. That .07 margin, you see it there between lanes three and six. And now we move into the 200 breaststroke. Alicia Zarzo Ramirez in two. For Toledo, Abigail Dolliver in three for Bowling Green. Lauren Kilgore in four for Toledo. Taylor Harris and Martina Stefanak in five and seven for Bowling Green. And lane six will be empty here for the 200 breaststroke. Stefanak out front. Pacing important here for the breaststroke. Don't want to go out too fast and overexert yourself because it'll show as you get towards the back part of the race. But a really strong start nonetheless for Stefanak. Harrison Kilgore right behind. And then Zarzo Ramirez and Dolliver almost side by side as well. And really good underwater for Abigail Dolliver coming off that turn following the 75. Gap has narrowed a little bit between Stefanak and Taylor Harris. About .3 of a second separates the two. In an update from scoring after that 200-yard backstroke, Bowling Green leading Toledo by 30 points, 109 to 79. Bowling Green won the Battle of I-75 the last time these two swam against each other. And Bowling Green does hold the 7-6 all-time series lead over the Rockets. That time Stefanak extends the lead just a little bit. So we saw it go down the lap before, increase that time in a really strong stroke. Martina Stefanak. Harris right behind her. Stefanak with the touch of the wall and a win by .18, 222-32 over Harris's 222.50. And then Kilgore followed in third. Now we'll move into the 500-yard freestyle.
Caitlin Hines in two for Toledo. Livia Castro in three, Bowling Green. Giovanna Jurch in four for Toledo. Kelly House in five for Bowling Green. We saw her swim two back-to-back -back races at the very beginning of the meet. Molly Presler's in six for the Rockets. Moa Carlson for Bowling Green in seven. Jillian Swift in eight for Toledo. And then Annabelle Habercorn in lane 10 for Toledo. House and Jurek side by side through the opening 50. Just .01 separated the two. And again, we talked earlier during that 1650 about the comparison between the sprints and the distance. We also talked about it during the 200, noting that the 200 free is about the longest a sprint can be considered here. The 500, more of a middle distance race. And your approach between sprint, middle distance, and distance is just so much different in your practice, whether it's within the set or the practice as a whole. You have to approach the different styles it's not just the different strokes you have to approach differently. It's the different styles of swimming, the different lengths, whether it's the 50, 100, and 200, typically all train about the same. Then you get into the 500, that middle distance category, train a little bit different. And then you move on to that long mile race, the 1650 that we saw. And then the training gets even more different. And it's just about how the swimmers need to approach the races. Times, Certain times you want to hold. And after the 200 breaststroke, Bowling Green, 123 to 84. And interesting, when you look at the far end of the pool, Jerk doing her 500 without a counter. Every other swimmer has a counter for them to show them where they're at in the race. And you'll see at the top of your screen, when those counters go in the water as the swimmers approach the far end, the jerk does not have one. There you see him at the top of your screen into the water. But nonetheless, out in front, Jerk won the 1650 earlier. With a time of 1705.84. And coming up in just a handful of weeks. The Mid-American Conference Championship is going to take place right here on the campus of Bowling Green. First time in a while that Bowling Green has hosted the event. Although hosting conference championships has not been anything new to Bowling Green. Women's soccer has hosted the past four. Volleyball's hosted two. And now swimming. Going to play host to the 2022 MAC Championship. Jerick out in front. Then it's Moa Carlson, Molly Pressler, and Kelly House. And right alongside House, just a couple of lanes over, is Livia Castro. And Castro's got a really strong kick going on right now. And we are going to have a second place battle. Jurek will win.
But Molly Presler and Moa Carlson. Carlson has the edge. So it'll be Carlson second, Presler in third. Castro will take fourth. Kelly House will finish in fifth. And just three events left to go. There you see the total results. Next up gonna be the 100 yard butterfly. This will be an explosive race. Our next event is the 100 butterfly. And one thing to watch for here is that underwater, before the swimmers come up into their strokes, gonna be really strong here in the 100 butterfly. About halfway for everybody. Carolyn Wallenborg in two, Olivia Edge in three, Sydney Conrad in four, Anna Erickson in five, Ashley Lefevre in six, and Fabiana D'Ambrosio in seven. Conrad first at the wall on the turn after 50 yards. Things tight for second. Best turn of the bunch. Out on the end, D'Ambrosio. Really tight battle for second place. Conrad's gonna win it. And she's gonna be followed closely within .6 of a second by Erickson, D'Ambrosio, and Lefevre in that order. Now, a 10 minute break, and then we'll come back for the 400 yard IM. And then the final relay of the afternoon, the 200 freestyle relay. But for now, we will step aside and we'll be back for more swim coming up next. Thank you all for being here today. You are here because you made a decision to be collegiate student athletes. So clap it up for yourselves. So let me ask you a question. Raise your hand if you wanna win a conference championship. Raise your hand if you wanna win a national championship. National championship. Keep your hands up if you're willing to wake up 4.30 in the morning for mandatory workouts. Those hands will go down because not everyone's willing to make those sacrifices. Keep your hands up if you're willing to put student first. All the responsibilities that it takes to be a student athlete. Are you up for that challenge? The lifelong friends that you will make, the failed attempts that you will learn from, the education that you will earn will all develop you for life after sports. So I'll ask you, are you willing to compete? Are you willing to execute? And are you willing to be a leader? Are you ready? Justice will not be served until those who are unaffected 
are as outraged as those who are. You don't know what you don't know, but at the same time, you have to be sensitive about the different things that are going on in people's lives. We're all struggling and we're all fighting a battle and we have to figure out how to build that bridge. Thank you all for being here today. You are here because you made a decision to be collegiate student athletes. So clap it up for yourselves. So let me ask you a question. Raise your hand if you want to win a Thank you all for being here today. You are here because you made a decision to be collegiate student athletes. So clap it up for yourselves. So let me ask you a question. Raise your hand if you want to win a conference championship. Raise your hand if you want to win a national championship. National championship. Keep your hands up if you're willing to wake up 4.30 in the morning for mandatory workouts. Those hands will go down because not everyone's willing to make those sacrifices. Keep your hands up if you're willing to put student first. All the responsibilities that it takes to be a student athlete. Are you up for that challenge? The lifelong friends that you will make, the failed attempts that you will learn from, 
the education that you will earn will all develop you for life after sports. So I'll ask you, are you willing to compete? Are you willing to execute? And are you willing to be a leader? Are you ready? Justice will not be served until those who are unaffected are as outraged as those who are. You don't know what you don't know, but at the same time, you have to be sensitive about the different things that are going on in people's lives. We're all struggling and we're all fighting a battle and we have to figure out how to build that bridge. Thank you all for being here today. You are here because you made a decision to be collegiate student athletes. So clap it up for yourselves. So let me ask you a question. Raise your hand if you want to win a conference championship. Raise your hand if you want to win a national championship. National championship. Keep your hands up if you're willing to wake up 4.30 in the morning for mandatory workouts. Those hands will go down because not everyone's willing to make those sacrifices. Keep your hands up if you're willing to put student first. All the responsibilities that it takes to be a student athlete. Are you up for that challenge? The lifelong friends that you will make, the failed attempts that you will learn from, the education that you will earn will all develop you for life after sports. So I'll ask you, are you willing to compete are you willing to execute? And are you willing to be a leader? Are you ready? Justice will not be served until those who are unaffected are as outraged as those who are. You don't know what you don't know, but at the same time, you have to be sensitive about the different things that are going on in people's lives. We're all struggling and we're all fighting a battle and we have to figure out how to build that bridge. Back here, the last individual event of the afternoon. We'll have one relay after this, but right now the 400-yard IM. Gabriella Vitella in one. Annabelle Haberkorn in two. Enbar Mark in three. Lindsey Creek in four. Ava Vial in five. Samantha Eckleberry in six. And Lily Kaiser, the freshman for Bowling Green, in lane seven. Vial out in front after the first leg of the fly. So 100 of each stroke, everything all put together here in one for the 400 IM. The all out front, and bar mark in second. And the battle for third, pretty close across the board between Creek, Eckleberry, and Kaiser. Oh. 
Be all out to about a two body length lead over Mark in second. Eckleberry and Kaiser remained side by side for third. They pulled a little farther out in front of Lindsay Creek. We talked about how at the college level, a lot of swimmers are able to specialize in certain strokes. Here in the IM, you have to do it all, and you have to be able to do it all well. One stroke in the IM could make or break your race. So everybody in the water, very well-rounded, a group of very well-rounded swimmers in this event. Vial still out in front. Second place tightening up between Mark Eckleberry and Kaiser. Breaststroke turn at the far end all at about the same time. Strong breaststroke from Vitella of Bowling Green down in lane one. Second place, still close between the three. Mark Eckleberry and Kaiser, advantage going to Kaiser by just a hair. We'll see where they're at coming into the turn. Vial has gone into her freestyle portion of the race. Eckleberry and Kaiser. It was marked by .02 over Eckleberry, and then Eckleberry in front of Kaiser by .19. So it just shows you how close the battle is for second place right now, separated by only .21 of a second. Dominating performance here from Ava Vial, well out into first place by half the pool. Eckleberry finds another gear. She powers into second place. Mark right there in third. Kaiser behind her in fourth as the three have separated a little bit. Down to the end of the race here. Vial gets the finish. First place for that young lady, sophomore here at Bowling Green. Eckleberry in second, Mark in third, Kaiser in fourth. Fifth place will go to Creek, Vitella sixth. And Habercorn's gonna round out the field So down to our last race of the afternoon here, senior day for Bowling Green. These teams will swim each other again later on this season. Bowling Green will travel to Toledo for what will be at the time Toledo's senior day. Bowling Green did honor Toledo's seniors as well prior to the start of the meet. Now the last event of the day, the 200 freestyle relay. BGSU's D relay in one, Toledo C in two, BGB in three, Toledo A in four, BGA in five, Toledo B in six, and BGC in seven. Daisy Platts first in for Bowling Green. She leads the way through 50 here. Elena Crump continues the lead for that Bowling Green A relay. Kilgore trying to battle back for Toledo. Right behind 
Riley Kennedy for Bowling Green. Right up top there as well, as these three have separated themselves a little bit from the rest of the pack. Jillian Bull into the water for Bowling Green alongside Ashley Lefevre for Toledo. Bull out in front, half a body. Good turn down in lane three by Riley McNichols. Bull narrowly in front to the wall. The starts could mean everything here. Last swimmer, Anna Erickson in the water for Bowling Green. Kennedy Lovell for Toledo. We saw Lovell swim so strong in her events earlier today. Lovell with a slight advantage. Erickson right there down to the wire and Lovell wins it by an arm length. Toledo's A relay gets the 200 free victory followed by the Bowling Green A and Bowling Green B respectively in second and third. A strong anchor leg from Kennedy Lovell of Toledo propels the Rockets to the event win coming up shortly. We are going to have official meet results, but a lot of strong swims today amongst both teams. And coming up in a month, both these teams are going to return back here. Mid-American Conference Championships going to be held right here at Samuel M. Cooper Natatorium. So we will await official scoring results from this relay. But Bowling Green will win this one. Final results coming in now. Bowling Green going to win by a final score. You may have heard it, 172 to 128, so make it two straight in the battle of I-75 in the pool going to the Bowling Green Falcons. But that'll do it for our coverage today. Bowling Green takes this one, the 2022 edition, the battle of I-75. In a couple of weeks, we'll have another one coming up at Toledo. That's before conference championships, but we look forward to hosting those championships and being right back here on the campus of Bowling Green. For an entire crew, I'm Brandon Lowe saying so long and have a great afternoon.